Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today for this webinar on the Nancy Caroline 9th edition Navigate courseware. My name is Ryan Poor. I'm one of the marketing managers for the Jones and Bartlett Learning Public Safety Group. With me are Kate Boss and Ramon Valdez, two of our solution consultants, as well as Laura Carney, our director of product management. We also have several other people on the panel who will be here to help with questions at the end. So just to give you a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about today, um, Laura is going to be taking us through a walkthrough of the Navigate packages available for the ninth edition. And then once she's done, Kate, with a little help from Ramon, is going to be walking you through some of the new stuff within the ninth edition itself and navigate so you can see it, see where it's located on all that fun stuff. And then hopefully at the end, we're hoping to have some time for Q&A. So if time allows, we'll try to get some questions in. If you do have questions, um, there should be a question box for attendees. I'll be monitoring it as the webinar goes on. Um, if it's appropriate and I feel like it's something we need to answer right away, I'll interrupt whoever's speaking and try to ask it. If not, we'll try to get to it at the end of the webinar. And there will also be a quick survey when you close out the webinar today where you can both comment on the webinar and if you have any follow-up questions you want someone from our team to answer, we can follow up with you afterwards as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna pass it on to Laura Carney. Laura, you can take it away. Thanks, Ryan. So to help support your instructional needs, we've developed four innovative package options. Uh, these packages include helpful student resources that cater to a variety of learning style and needs, as well as a range of instructional and assessment resources to simplify course delivery. Our package offerings include Essentials, Advantage, Premier, and Premier Flipped Classroom. The Essentials package includes high quality materials to meet core content and instruction needs. This package contains the following resources, textbook, audiobook, assessments, analytics, slides, instructor guide, and practice activities. The Advantage package includes foundational resources that prepare students for the National Registry exam and working in the field. This package contains all of the following resources, everything that's included in the Essentials package, plus an ebook, test prep, 10 active learning activities, flashcards, and soft skill simulations. The Premier Traditional Classroom Package is a comprehensive education solution that facilitates student engagement and virtual learning and includes the following assets, everything included in the Advantage Package, plus interactive lectures and 18 virtual ride-alongs. And lastly, the Premier Flip Classroom Package includes an integrated suite of resources that transform the hybrid classroom into an active learning environment. With the flipped classroom, students interact with educational content outside the classroom to develop foundational knowledge. Class time is then used for students to engage in more hands-on active learning. The Premier Package includes the following resources, everything included in the Premier Package, plus lesson guides, lesson plans, and the full suite of active learning activities. For anyone who's interested, we're happy to provide additional details on the resources found within each package in order to help you determine which best offering best fits the needs of you and your students. Our instructor guide also provides in-depth details on the numerous resources that we offer throughout each package. All right, so we're gonna pass it over to Kate Boss to walk you through some of these items within Navigate itself. Well, hello everybody. Uh, as Ryan said, my name, I'm Kate Boss. I'm one of our solutions consultants. So me and Ramon, um, along with our other solutions consultants, we work with instructors to help make sure they are aware of all of the online resources and are comfortable with everything. So what we're looking at now is um, our Navigate platform. Uh, for those that aren't aware, Navigate is our proprietary learning management system based off of Moodle. So we do have the ability, as we're looking at the resources today, we do have the ability to deploy our resources through uh, LTI cartridges for Canvas, Blackboard, D2L, and Moodle, those LMS systems. So just keep that in mind. What you're seeing today is Navigate, but if you do have one of those LMSs that I mentioned, we do have the ability to deploy those, uh, these resources for Nancy Caroline 9th edition in those cartridges. Um, what we're looking at here is the Premier 
version um, of the course. As Laura mentioned, there are three different packages. Uh, Premier has everything. So just keep in mind, uh, depending on what package you go with, the resources might vary a little bit, but for today's purpose, we're looking at everything. Um, the purpose of this webinar is to um, kind of explain and show the updates in the courseware of the Caroline 9th edition versus the 8th edition. So I'm just going to spend a couple minutes uh, kind of talking about what's included with Navigate for those that are maybe not as familiar with Navigate. Uh, with Navigate, you're, uh, the instructor is going to be assigned a course ID. This uh, course ID is specific and unique to, to each course and each instructor. So this is a combination of uh, six numbers and letters. Um, this is what the instructor will provide to the student in order to get registered in the course. Uh, each Navigate shell is going to have a list of participants. And um, also, you're going to have um, a gradebook that you can customize. And there is uh, going to be a calendar in the Navigate shell. Um, on the right side of every Navigate uh, uh, shell is this menu on the right that contains a lot of quick links, and this can be collapsed and expanded. Um, also with the Navigate uh, course shell, is uh, the instructor has the ability to edit mode button up here. This allows the instructor to make any um, customizations. They can turn the edit mode on. They can add things such as quizzes and assignments. Um, they can... Uh, do they can hide things? They can move uh, move things around. They can um, hide things from student view or show things. There's, there's a lot you can do to customize that. So if you guys have, if anyone has any questions um, specifically for their program or their course shell, uh, please reach out to your sales rep, and they can always set a meeting up with one of us, and we can dive into this for you guys. So, um, but for today's webinar, um, we're gonna look at the. Uh, I'm gonna click into one of the chapters here. Uh, so for those that are new to Navigate, all of these resources in each chapter, they're included in each chapter. Um, those that are familiar with the Caroline 8th edition one, um, would, are going to notice uh, a big change in the 9th edition is the simplification of the lecture outlines and the case studies. Uh, so in the 8th edition, we had the comprehensive and the focus set of slides and lecture outlines. In the 9th edition, we have simplified it so you just get one set. Just trying to make your life easier. Uh, another change with the ninth edition from the eighth edition. Um, in the ninth edition, the ebook chapter quiz questions have been absorbed into the general uh, test bank, the instructor test bank. Um, the E or the eighth edition did include um, these ebook chapter quizzes. Um, in the ninth edition. We um, decided to take those questions that would have been on the ebook chapter quiz and absorb them into the test bank. Reason being a couple of things. Uh, there was instructor feedback that they didn't like that the ebook chapter quizzes, there wasn't, there was a lack of administrative control. So the instructors didn't like that they couldn't control what questions were in the quiz and they didn't have much control over the quiz itself. Um, also, there was um, low student usage we found. So, um, in the ninth edition, um, the ebook chapter quizzes are no longer here, but those questions did get absorbed into the general test bank. Uh, also, with the um, ninth edition, there's this assessment and action resource that has been added. Uh, users of the EMT 12th edition uh, may recognize this. This one is for Caroline 9th edition, but uh, it's similar where there is uh, a scenario in the assessment in action. Then there are um, questions, and then the answers are down here. Uh, this is designed to be a student's practice activity, so that's why the answers are included in here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, so the student can read the scenario, they can work through these questions, and then the answer and the rationale are down here. So it's designed for them to be a practice activity. 
Also, oops, sorry. The, hey, Kate, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to, someone brought up a question in the okay. chat. I just want to ask. So, we, so uh, the question was, so there is no longer an ebook chapter quiz for each chapter. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh, also with um, the um, chapter resources. So with the premier package, there's this interactive lecture that's included. These were included with the eighth edition. Um, however, um, with the ninth edition, there have been uh, a lot of the interactive lectures are um, have been updated to include different media links. So different links to different videos and that sort of thing. So this one in chapter 17. And um, I apologize, I don't think um, the sound is working, uh, but I, I am turning on the closed captioning, so hopefully you can see that this way. But um, in the uh, interactive lecture, I'm, I'm clicking to where I know um, in chapter 17 on slide 13, there are these links to these videos here, so I want to show that. So. Um, we've, we've had the interactive lectures in the 8th edition, the ninth edition includes in a lot of the interactive lecture, there's different links to different media things. So this one is a video. Um, this one also includes, there's, um, a virtual, there's a couple of virtual ride-along videos here too. So for those that um, aren't familiar, the virtual ride-alongs, those um, videos uh, are actual EMS calls. Uh, so with this interactive lecture, there's a couple of them in here. Um, you can also access these um, from the main dashboard. There's a little topic block called virtual ride-alongs. So that's in here. Uh, back here out on the main dashboard, um, test prep. We have uh, test prep was included with the eighth edition. Um, however, we are um, excited to announce that there is um, with the paramedic test prep, um, there's an update that is coming very soon that's going to include 50 new questions. Um, so it's going to have a test bank of 750 questions for the test prep, um, so it's 125 questions per section. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, uh, test prep is a student-driven resource where it allows uh, the student to come in and they can create different practice tests and there's an assessment test they can take. Uh, this test bank is separate than the test bank that we give you as instructors to create quizzes and tests off of, so it's a completely separate test bank. Um, and there is an update coming very soon, um, which will include 50 new questions. So that is new to the ninth edition where it's an expanded um, paramedic test prep test bank. Um, it is the, I always like to point out the instructor can review the student's performance, but there's nothing for the instructor technically to do. They can come in once their students start utilizing this resource, they can come in and, and view their um, results and, and all of that. So. Test um, under With the simulations, uh, in addition to the first responder support and resilience, uh, that was included with the eighth edition. The ninth edition also includes these uh, soft skill simulations, which uh, users of our EMT 12th edition may recognize. So the ninth edition has the first responder support and resilience as well as the um, soft skill simulations. Uh, for those that aren't familiar, we have designed these to uh, help students uh, or help programs teach students uh, the soft skills that are sometimes put on the back burner class time. So there are um, three scenarios to work through. And I'm um, just going, I just, I'm going to unlock kind of use my little, let's unlock this, but um, in, the, in this one, there's three scenarios. There's the communicating critical situations. 
team conflict resolution and de-escalation in the field. So I'm just gonna click in here just to kind of show you guys. But in this scenario, the learner gets to see things through the eyes of Alex, the EMT. And she and her partner in this scenario have been called out to a local bar on a drunken disorderly call. So there's a little bit of um, kind of your goals that there's a few slides to go through. So they get the call and her partner's gonna say, feels like we're pulling someone out of here every week. And then you get to choose a response. So let's just see how it goes. Uh, this is Wes, who you'll see him at the, he's a little coach that he pops up from time to time. Sure looks drunk to me. So the partner says, sure looks let's drunk to me. Let's see what you can me. find out. I'm gonna talk to the bouncer. Thank you. You are so Jason is talking. I don't need any help. Uh, so oftentimes with the soft skill simulation, there are things that um, you can click on the uh, bubble to kind of get his thoughts. And um, there are, you can talk, you get different choices. The learner gets different choices. So uh, you can talk, you can give info, you can get info. Um, don't worry about the A03, that's just because I unlocked this, kind of skipping ahead, but you won't see that. Um, you Something, can kind else. Of give info. <clears throat> Something else to mention real quick. Sorry, Kate. Um, we, we are getting a little bit of this audio. Uh, it's a little bit um, kind of slurred. I think that's just because of the connection, the go-to webinar. Okay. Um, yeah. When you do actually hear this in person, it will be uh, crystal clear. Uh, just to yep. want to throw yep. that out there. Thank you, Ramon. <laughs> um, so the learner gets to uh, kind of choose. Just calm down. We're here to help you. What's your name? I'm just a little. Uh, so you can click on the coach and he gives you a little bit of feedback um, at any point you can undo and go backwards if you don't like how it's going. Uh, but Sounds like you're having a tough time. Yeah. Okay, in order for me to know there a little more information, do you mind if I ask you a question? I won't make you work through the entire scenario, but that kind of gives you a little glimpse of, of what this resource is. So, so that's the uh, soft skill simulations. Um, also, um, with uh, the virtual ride alongs here, uh, these were included with the eighth edition. However, the ninth edition includes a new uh, video on situational awareness. So for those that aren't aware, uh, the virtual ride-alongs, these are real EMS calls. And uh, so um, you get to see the situation and then the EMS professionals that are involved in this call, you oftentimes get to see them, um, you know, give their thoughts off to their interviewed off to the side. So this one, it's brand new, it's on situational awareness. And I did turn on the closed captioning. And again, unfortunately, because of the uh, webinar, I do think the uh, audio is not coming through. Um, but the typical format of this is that you do get to hear the dispatch call. Most of the virtual ride-alongs 
Um, on this one, it has a little bit more of an introduction. Just, uh, again, testament that we're always looking to update our resources and what we have available. Um, so situational awareness is definitely something that instructors have been giving us feedback uh, over the last few years that they would like to see uh, more of. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I won't make you listen to all of um, but yeah, these vary anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes in length. So. Uh, also, um, the teaching tools here. This uh, is this topic block, if you're not already aware, is um, hidden from student view. So all of these resources are just for the instructor. Uh, there's the instructor guide that is included here, which I think Laura mentioned when she was speaking, uh, the instructor guide is a Word document and uh, it gives very detailed information on what's included with each package. So this is a really great resource. Um, it also includes the information on uh, what or how long it approximately takes to get through um, each PowerPoint and lecture outline. Uh, so uh, just I know a lot of programs find this useful when planning out their course. You know, how long does it take to teach chapter three and four? Well, it's about, a hundred, you know, hour and a half approximately. Um, this is approximate time, so you might take longer or maybe you're a fast talker like me and you just get, you know, speed. You know, I'm a speed talker. I know that. So, uh, so that's that one. Um, there's also um, with the teaching tools, this simulation training uh, support and scenarios. Uh, these were included with, or this resource was in the eighth edition. Um, we've, in the eighth edition, they were all kind of separate links. And so we've made it simpler in the ninth edition. Uh, so it, it all comes as one folder. So we're trying to make it simpler. So there is the simulation um, instructor primer. So these are kind of, or these are the instructions on how to best utilize the uh, these scenarios. Kind of gives the instructor some directions and information, as well as there's a crew resource management score sheet, and that uh, comes here, so you can utilize this. Uh, I'm going to just click into one of the scenarios. These are uh, Word documents, so you could, if you wanted to make changes, you can enable editing and uh, you could make changes, do whatever you'd like to it. But um, it kind of gives you the learning objectives, the setup, the scenario setup. And there's all these different scenarios to help um, your things you can use. These are all, you can use them in class and they all are uh, they're on these different topics here. So that is the simulation training support and scenarios. There's also some of the packages include these FizzDAP 50 scenarios. Also comes uh, as a zip drive. So these are, uh, there's a FizzDAP, there's a, a technical manual to help kind of explain these and how they were created and ooh, that's kind of far out. So kind of gives you an introduction and how to best use these. So this one is on pediatric resp respiratory distress and kind of uh, gives you some background information, what you, what you need to do to prep the scenario. Um, so these are the FizzDAP scenarios that are included with some of the packages. Uh, there's also these active learning activities. Uh, this one in chapter 33 is um, on burns. 
And so these active learning activities are not included with every chapter, but with the chapters they are included with, they're activities designed to get the students up and moving around. Uh, so this one is having the students, they're gonna create a model of the skin layers. And um, it says to use, um, it suggests you using Play-Doh or whatever materials you think would work. And the students are gonna create uh, a model of three major layers of skin. And then it also kind of suggests you can have the students vote on their favorite model, and if time allows, you can have them modify it. So this is one of those activities. This is uh, the teaching tools. Um, just to mention um, some uh, updates to navigate. Uh, if you're not, we're, we're very excited about um, an update to the Navigate platform. Um, it is around the bulk activity settings. You might have seen this, um, or maybe you haven't, but there is a way you can um, edit uh, items, either assignments or quizzes in bulk. So you can come in and click on the assignment bulk activity, and you can, you can do up to five at a time. And you can come in and, and bulk, you could change the due date or the cutoff dates. You can only do five at a time. Um, it is important to, to note that anything that you change here, it's gonna override the settings that are already uh, assigned to, these, to this activity. So that's the assignment ones. There's also one for quizzes. Um, with uh, the quizzes. So you could come in and select the quizzes that you want to do a bulk update to, whether it, you know you want to make it, there's a time limit for everybody, or um, you, know, you want to change the attempts allowed or open or close date, you can do that here. And same thing with the assignments that any uh, changes that you make here will override the settings already in place. Uh, you can also get to that bulk activity setting on the right menu here that collapse and expands under the administration block. There's a quick link right here. It'll get you to the same place. Uh, at the bottom of every Navigate page, uh, I always like to point out our technical support. Um, it's important to remember as, as instructors, you have our full support of me and the solutions consultant team, you have the support of your sales rep. Um, you can, you've got our tech support, you can call or email them, um, but we're, we've got a whole team of behind, you know, wanting um, to make you feel supported and help you. Um, there's also our training library. The training library, there's one for instructors and one for students. The, the one for instructors, uh, this is a great place to kind of come and find the frequently asked questions. Um, so if it's two o'clock in the morning or if it's on the weekend um, and we're not available because it's outside of business hours, this is a great place to come. Uh, these items, most of them do have short YouTube videos that go along with them. Um, you can also, they all have these support documents. Each one has a support document that you can download. And it'll walk you step by step on how to do certain items. So that's the training library. Um, if, um, if you guys would like to learn more about kind of what's included with the ninth edition courseware, or if you have any specific questions on your course uh, or any of the resources we've talked about, um, please reach out to your sales rep and they can coordinate a meeting with me or Ramon or any of our solutions consultants. That kind of, this kind of concludes the, um, this demo on kind of the um, new and updated items in the ninth edition, so. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Kate. Um, just wanted to kind of uh, circle back with uh, some of the comments uh, that were made and I think some of this will lead us into the, the Q&A as well. Um, for one, uh, when we were talking about the ebook quizzes being rolled into the overall test bank, um, again, that was uh, done partially on feedback from instructors saying that um, some instructors didn't like the fact that they couldn't edit those uh, ebook quizzes or they couldn't make changes to them, and especially that they couldn't get feedback to see what the students missed on that. 
So all of those questions are now incorporated into the overall larger test bank so that now you have more questions available for you um, inside that test bank. Um, something else that we uh, we did showcase here, we wanted this to be a little bit of a combination of uh, if you're brand new to Navigate, we want to tell you how Navigate works. Uh, but if you are here to specifically see the changes from the 8th to 9th edition, um, let's definitely showcase that. One of those additions was the active learning activities. Um, we have actually pulled those from the flipped classroom. And we, because we've had so much success with the Flip Classroom product, um, and especially that different way of presenting material to the students, we have taken some of those activities and incorporated them into the standard paramedic. These are completely optional. They are hidden from the students by default. But as Kate mentioned, they are designed to kind of get the students, in some respects, out of their seats, but also just kind of break the knowledge apart. So it's not just read the chapter, read the PowerPoint or listen to the audiobook. it's actually, let's have you build something. Let's have you work with a team and build a model of uh, the skin layers, or let's have you put a presentation together and present that to your class. Uh, and instead of having, as we like to say with the flipped classroom approach, instead of having somebody on stage, which is typically the instructor presenting to students who may or may not be bored, you're actually bringing the students up on that stage and having them be an active part of their learning or their education. So the reason for the active learning activities, uh, that is really just uh, because of the success of the flip model. So you'll see the, these incorporated here for certain chapters. Um, one of the other expansions as well for the test prep, uh, we are working on an update to the test prep itself. Um, uh, it, it is considered to be a pretty complete overhaul of the existing paramedic Nancy Caroline test prep. Um, in fact, uh, 50 questions will be added along with all the revisions for existing questions. Um, most of the questions that are going to be added are actually for cardiology, and those will incorporate EKG and ECG uh, images into the test prep. You can probably expect that uh, to be updated in the next few months, uh, but that will be something that will greatly enhance uh, the, the pretty great existing test prep, uh, but definitely something to look forward to. So uh, again, just wanted to kind of wrap this uh, into all of, we're showing you the updates for 8th to 9th edition, but we're also wanting to kind of introduce this to new to Navigate users, as well as show some of the recent updates that happened to the system itself uh, that maybe not related to Nancy Caroline, but now you have the ability to do bulk updates to quizzes and assignments. Well, thanks both Ramon and Kate. So thanks everyone for uh, you know sitting through that. Um, we are gonna open up for Q&A now, and I know there's more questions coming in through the question box too. We'll try to get to those in a minute, um, but I'm gonna unmute everybody. So you, in a moment, you'll have the ability to unmute yourself if you'd like to speak up and ask any particular questions. Um, and also our panelists, you know, Ian, Carly, Laura, Tiffany, um, some of these questions might be for you, but I'm just going to actually start by reading some off that are in the question box that I haven't gotten to yet. So the first question is, is the Flip Classroom platform ready yet? I believe the answer is yes, but um, can someone, Laura, could you could just confirm that? Yes, Flip Classroom is available. Okay, cool. And then had a question here from Michael Hunter. Have you made an attempt to update and improve the quality of questions in the test bank? Hi, um, this is Tiffany. Sorry, Carly, feel free to jump in um, with anything additional. So we've gone through the entire uh, test bank carefully. We, we onboarded a few additional subject matter experts who looked at all of the questions carefully um, from the previous edition. Um, we made a bunch of updates, wrote additional questions, I believe, we wrote an additional five questions per chapter, um, and then those all went through careful careful review. Um, so absolutely uh, hear the requests over and over for high quality test items. So I do hope that you'll see that reflected um, in the ninth edition. And then Scott, you were just asking, is Premier Traditional and Flipped actually different packages or just how we deploy them? They are actually uh, gonna be different uh, packages. Um, and the best way to uh, explain that is with traditional, you're going to have chapter one, two, three, and so on. With the flipped, it will actually be lessons 
wrapping those chapter content and it may not be just a complete section of here are the powerpoints for chapter one here's the learning objectives for chapter one instead here's lesson one that incorporates elements from chapters two and three uh, that's not how it's really broken up but just to kind of uh, help visualize that um, so it is a, a complete redesign of the actual navigate platform uh, when you're looking at flipped versus traditional chapter one two three thanks ramon and uh, we did have a question about the FISDAP issues um, from Tony Hartman. I know that there's not our main leaders for FISDAP aren't really on the call right now, but Tony, I'll uh, respond to your question in a moment with a couple people you can reach out to if you have questions about FISDAP. And then, like I said earlier, um, you should have the ability to unmute yourself now if you want to also speak up and ask any questions, or you can drop them in the box. Um, James Gray just added one. Will students have the same experience using Navigate using the specific college LMS, for example, D2L Brightspace? Sometimes content does not necessarily work the same on different formats. Um, Ian, I don't know if you want to take this or... Yeah, I can definitely do that, Ryan. Um, that's that's a great question. So the, uh, specific to the content itself, it should perform and behave um, exactly the same, if not similar to the way it does in Navigate. Uh, certain platform features that you enjoy in Navigate, uh, however, will not be available in uh, those third-party environments. Uh, a good example that I can share right now and think of is the student engagement tool. So that is actually a native tool to Moodle. Uh, that allows you to track student movement or, or student engagement rather in the course with the course content um, and use that to cumulatively report their their time spend so that would be an example of a feature that's unique to the platform rather than the content itself um, but to give you an example of how the content would behave uh, think about a tool like test prep uh, or the interactive lectures that are some of the more popular uh, content pieces in those higher level packages those, those will open in a, a new tab when they're launched from the third-party LMS and look and feel the exact same way as they would from Navigate. Um, so it's really just us setting up a conduit between that third-party LMS environment, which would be D2L, Canvas, for instance, and then our servers on the JBL side that host that content um, for both Navigate users and those third-party systems. Thanks, Ian, for answering that. And then okay. Eric... Bird had a question. If students purchase the Premier Edition, will it include all components of FizDAP's the whole shebang package? No, that's um, yeah. typically something that you'll have to uh, either work with your sales rep to have a bundle. Um, it will have scheduler and skills tracker, but not the uh, assessment pieces. Uh, so that can be either purchased separately or you can work with your sales rep to have a bundle uh, created uh, for your institution. So if anyone else has any more questions, um, you can either unmute yourself or drop them in the chat box and I can read them off. Can you speak uh, a little more uh, to the idea of uh, using a, a third party platform like Canvas uh, as the conduit uh, to get to navigate? And is there the, by doing that, is there a, the ability to customize the access to the content such that, you know, in module one and in Canvas, we're going to access, you know, two or three chapters from Navigate and the different uh, other, basically pull things together like a cafeteria plan to build our module, or is it we're just going to get linked over and kind of dumped into Navigate? Yeah, I'd be happy to take that question for you. Um, so it's it's really not so much a conduit into Navigate as it is to the content itself. Um, so the the content that's sitting in your Navigate kind of off the shelf course, that's already been built, structured, organized um, in a manner that's, uh, you know, aligned with the textbook. That said, it would appear that way in Canvas as well, because the way we deliver the LTI content is within a, a, a cartridge file. So a common cartridge that you would upload in the Canvas environment, it would give you the same structure that you would see in the Navigate course. However, at the same time, it would also allow you the flexibility of customizing it to the same degree which you actually could in Navigate as well. So if you wanted to build your own custom lessons or modules, uh, pulling content from disparate chapters, you could certainly do that. You could also add in your own content. Um, and then a couple other benefits that I'll just mention now that we're, we're talking about it for using your own LMS is you wouldn't have to handle um, any, any variable like a course ID. It wouldn't require that. 
It also acts as a single sign-on experience for you and your students. So the student would enter your, uh, your LMS course for the first time as a registered user on your LMS. They would click on the content again for the first time. It would request that they either log in or register. Um, if they have an existing account, they would log in or they would register as a new user. They would redeem an access code and thereafter they would enjoy unencumbered access uh, to that content going forward for the life of their subscription. So there's a couple other benefits that I just wanted to mention um, for LTI users mm -hmm. specifically in those third-party platforms. Thanks, Ian. Um, I did get a couple more questions in the questions box. I'm just going to read off. And apology, uh, Eric Brooks. I don't know if that was you that was just speaking about that. Uh, there was another LMS question in here. Um, if not, I'll go back to it. But um, there was a question here. When will this roll out for purchase? Is there education coming for the Canvas course aspect? Our EMT rollout has been messy for the 12th edition. So we do actually have the um, uh, Canvas D2L and Moodle integrations um, on offer. Um, and, and available, uh, we, we can definitely uh, work uh, if you contact the sales rep or if you've been working with us on the solutions team, um, we can help uh, coordinate that for sure. Um, and as Ian explained, uh, it's really a process of where we would work with your admin at the school, if you have one. Sometimes uh, with Canvas especially, it can be just the instructor. Um, we would work, contact you and say, here's the file that you can import, here's the how to. Um, we actually have a landing page that has steps one, two, three, four in some cases of here's how to import it, here's how to make sure that the test bank is visible, whether it's Canvas, Blackboard, or, um, or D2L, um, or Moodle. And here for certain LMSs, you might have to do this extra step of making sure that these assignments are in fact assigned um, to the course. Um, and then we also have the how-to for the students. How are the students going to access the content? Um, this is a, a great change from our previous version of any integration where you were in fact kind of ported over to Navigate. We had to build a separate Navigate shell for you. Um, and then that would send an update of the final course total to your environment. Um, this negates that. The students are doing all of the work, all the quizzes, all the assignments, whether it's an interactive lecture or a quiz inside your environment, and that is reporting directly to your gradebook. Uh, so um, yeah, this landing page, we send that to you as part of the process, um, and it has all the instructions. Um, we could also do a webinar to walk you through the documents step by step, uh, but we've tried to uh, kind of painstakingly say, if you follow this step one, two, three, it'll help you out through the entire process. Thanks, Ramon. And then I've got another question here. I apologize that this has already been discussed, but can you elaborate more on the difference between Premiere and Flip Classroom? I know Flip Classroom is more of a hybrid version, but does it offer more interactive content or what truly distinguishes the two from each other? Do you, do you want me to put, should I pull up the course shell? Do you think that would be beneficial? Sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I don't know, Tiffany, Carly, or Laura, if one of you want to maybe speak to that a little bit, but. So I'm happy to just quickly speak to this. So Premiere, obviously, we've been offering that for a while, and that is technically a hybrid option. It's it's more of our traditional offering and students can use the interactive lectures to get that lecture portion at home. So Premiere can certainly be used um, in a hybrid classroom setting. And we just took it a step farther with um, Flipped Classroom uh, by providing a, a true blueprint that students and instructors can walk through to get the most out of their curriculum. So on the student side, we've added, we've added these learning guides and what those are is essentially a walk through their assignment. Um, it's by lesson. So, and I see um, Kate's pulling this up here. So they'll, they'll walk through, they'll open up this um, interactive guide and they'll hear about their reading assignment. They can either check out the ebook, their physical book, the audio book, they'll watch videos, they'll complete knowledge checks, um, they'll do self-assessments. Then when they get to the end, they'll you know, be given a stop sign and be told, good job, you finished your homework. Uh, they'll show up in the classroom, and then that classroom time is going to be dedicated to discussion, um, some interactions, some hands-on skill practice, uh, no lecturing at all. 
um, and the, the instructors have the benefit of kind of seeing where the students landed with their self-assessments, and that also helps the students understand where they need to dedicate their time. Now on the instructor side, to help them out, and this is what Kate's got pulled up here, there's a really, <laughs> really detailed lesson guide, um, which, uh, you know, just, I wanna backtrack a little bit. We used some amazing experts in the field, instructors who have taught flipped classroom. We partnered with UCLA on a lot of this. Um, so this is certainly not something we pulled out of our hats and decided, you know, on our own. This was um, stuff that had been gone, you know, gone through piloting and um, was proven effective. So you'll see the, the careful breakdown here of how instructors should walk students through um, their at-home work and also everything that they can do, including the activities um, in the classroom. We also included a ton of really awesome activity cards, um, just brand new interactivities that are not included in the Premier um, package. So a, a ton of new assets, but as Kate mentioned earlier, you still also get all of those Premier assets as well. I think I covered most of it. If anyone else has anything I missed, please jump in or if there are any other questions. Thanks, Stephanie, and sit tight because there might be more for you. <laughs> um, but someone else had a question. Uh, will there be an audiobook or other feature features available on iOS or Android? Uh, so we we do have an audiobook, but we only we have it available through um, the Navigate course itself. You know, there's no actual application available on smart devices right now, but it's a really great audiobook. It goes through a huge QA process, so it's definitely dependable content with proper pronunciations um, and, and something that students can listen to when they're on the go. Thanks, Tiffany. And then there was also a question here. Um, will PSG Learning consider group subscriptions to navigate similar to Canvas or D2L? For example, one to 99 persons being a certain price, 100 to 200 persons being another price. For any questions regarding pricing, I'd reach out directly to your sales rep and they can certainly be able to assist you. Yep. If anyone else has any questions, again, either you can put it in the chat uh, question box or you can unmute yourself and just speak up. Um, I'll just add one thing um, on the audiobook that those are broken out by chapter. And so a student in, in theory and, and in practicality can just download one of those files and load it to their um, to their phone, their mobile device, whether it's Android or or Apple, um, they could they could do that chapter by chapter. Um, they could do the whole thing if they wanted to, um, and just store that on their device and listen to it on the go. Um, in addition, there is a e-reader mobile application which is available for both Android and Apple. Uh, there is a screen reading feature um, within the ebook itself. Uh, I will admit fully, I do not know if that is an available feature on the mobile devices. Um, but it could be, and I can definitely um, follow up uh, with everybody. It is, it is. Thanks, Ramon. Excellent, thanks guys. And then uh, there was another question from Scott Shu. Uh, are the detailed flip lesson outlines available for review prior to adoption? Uh, yeah, for sure. Please just reach out to your rep and they'll connect with us on the content and product side and we'll be sure to um, point point you in the right direction to some ideal samples. Thanks, Tiffany. And then there was another question from Rochelle in here. Uh, the 50 FISDAP scenarios, is that only offered through Navigate or is that also available a la carte that can be purchased in FISDAP? I will attempt to answer this uh, because it's been a while for me, but uh, obviously they are in Navigate. Um, but they did originally live in FISDAP, and I believe that those are still available as a standalone um, through FISDAP. I'm 95% sure. Yeah, and like, and like someone, uh, I think Ian mentioned earlier, maybe Ramon did, uh, you know, when in doubt, you can always reach out to your sales rep. They should be able to answer any questions for you, and if not, they'll find the person that they, need, they can uh, get the answers from. Like I mentioned earlier, when you close the webinar, there is a quick survey. Um, and if you have any questions you want us or anything you'd like us to follow up with you on, there will be an option to put that info in there. But uh, otherwise, thank you all for joining us today. Really do appreciate all the questions we had about not just the packages, but items like LTI. And uh, 
and sorry, I just I, I just saw one more thing pop up. Did someone answer the question regarding the release date for the ninth edition? I do believe all ninth edition packages are available right now um, for purchase. But if I'm wrong, uh, you know, someone speak up and correct me. But that was my understanding. Nope, you're correct, Ryan. Everything is available. Awesome. Thanks, Laura. So again, um, if you have any questions, put them in the survey after. But thanks again for joining us and hope everyone has a good rest of their Tuesday. Thank you so much. Thanks.